Hello everyone, myself Ritesh. I have five years of experience into data engineering and data analytics field. My key skills or key expertise are Power BI for reporting purpose, the database that is SQL. I have also have expertise into Azure Cloud, which includes uh, ETL that is Azure Data Factory, ADLS, Logic Apps and Databricks. I've been working for multiple MNCs since last five years. I've worked for retail, I've worked for automobile and I've also worked for cloud and technological domains. Today we are going to learn about what is VertiPack. How does VertiPack engine comes into picture whenever we load any data to Power BI and how does it helps to improve the performance of any data being loaded into Power BI. VertiPack is nothing but it's a compression engine used by Power BI. It's an inbuilt and in Power BI architecture. As soon as the data is loaded into Power BI, VertiPack engine performs a series of algorithms on a data so as to compress it as much as possible. This would help us in improving the memory footprint as well as, well as it also helps us to increase the performance of any tax query which we write in, in, in the Power BI. Going further, how does a VertiPack engine uh, performs? So VertiPack is based on a column that are different from a basic database or any SQL Server engine. So basically a SQL Server engine operates everything in terms of rows. The data is stored in terms of rows, which overall makes the performance comparatively slower. So the ability, uh, it has an ability to compress the data. The VertiPack engine has an ability to compress the data in multiple ways, store the data into memory. So this makes performance of any, any data loaded into Power BI or any type of calculations which we do in Power BI, maybe a DAX calculation, maybe whenever we create a calculated column or a calculated measure, this is way more faster than a normal SQL server or a basic database engine. So if you work with only direct query, you can use VertiPack engine. The VertiPack engine is only used in case of Power BI uh, whenever we use an imported model. So why imported model? Because in import model only, we get the complete uh, data in the Power BI storage engine or we get the complete data in Power BI. So as to make uh, the performance, we can change the data as per our requirement. The date, I mean, the VertiPack engine doesn't come into picture when we connect it with a direct query. Why? Because whenever we use a direct query, we don't have uh, permissions to manage the complete database architecture. So the complete database is coming from uh, any online source or we are connecting it with help of a direct query. We only have the data from that particular source. We don't, I mean, we cannot create any uh, calculations. I mean, we cannot create any changes to the existing table structure. The only thing is we can load the data and we can uh, read the data from uh, the online engine or whenever there is a direct query. So this VertiPack engine comes into picture when we use an import mode. So how does it improve the performance? VertiPack engine scans and retrieves the data. VertiPack scans the retrieves and data uh, from any data source whenever we import it into the uh, Power BI. So it then provides the query. Uh, there are two basic concepts in Power BI. One is a formula engine, one is a storage engine. So this is completely a different architecture. This is mainly used or mainly asked in any of the interviews of Power BI. What exactly is the VertiPack engine and how does it improve the performance? So coming to the point now, whenever uh, we load a data, the data is stored in any of the staging area of a Power BI. So this VertiPack engine helps us to retrieve the data faster. So there are other two concepts, which is which are called as formula engine and a storage engine. Just to make it more similar or just to make it more simpler, formula engine performs the uh, formulas whenever we write any formulas and storage engine is nothing but it stores the data. So the VertiPack combines these engines together and it retrieves the data whenever we load from any particular data source and it helps to improve the performance. So how does it improve? Because VertiPack engine uses multiple cores. It is way more faster than a normal any SQL server or a database engine 
and it uses the process called as multi-threading. So it processes the data in multiple aspects or parallelly processes the data and can use multiple cores together. So multiple cores, let's consider an example of a, a laptop only. The more the number of cores, more the faster is the laptop. So Vertipak engine has more the number of cores. So how whenever when we load the data, more faster is the uh, improve it is more faster or it improves the performance so the core comes into picture here apart from this it completely simplifies the expressions i mean whenever we create any dax function such as sum average or any distinct count this might call, cause a problem to a normal database engine but wherever in vertipack it handles the data very efficiently because it processes the data in simultaneous cores or in a parallel processing and it helps to improve the performance rather than a normal uh, database engine or any so as i said formula and uh, storage engine are a concept of a normal database but vertipack is a combination of both formula as well as storage engine and it helps us to improve the performance when we choose an import mode in Power BI, it reads the data, it transforms the data, and it stores in columnar structure. So Vertipack data or Vertipack engine stores the data in columnar structure. It encodes the data within at each of the columns. So why columnar? Why Power BI is called as a columnar database? Uh, just because it stores the data in terms of columns rather than a row store. So why row store is comparatively slower than column store? Columns, uh, columnar databases are very optimized or uh, whereas the data is stored in a vertical manner. So each column would act independently in a structured manner and it has its own behavior. So a normal, uh, a traditional row database is what it does is it goes on fetching whenever we fire a query or whenever we fire or whenever we select a particular query, it goes on searching row after row. Whereas in case of column store, it goes on searching in a columnar or in a vertical manner. So more the faster uh, in vertical manner, the data processing is comparatively more faster uh, than a normal horizontal row-like structure.